days of the invasion of this hemisphere would not be the landing of regular troops. The necessary strategic points would be occupied by secret agents and by their dupes, and great numbers of them are already here and in Latin America. As long as the aggressor nations maintain the offensive, they, not we, will choose the time and the place and the method of their attack. And that is why the future of all the American republics is today in serious danger. That is why this annual message to the Congress is unique in our history. That is why every member of the executive branch of the government and every member of the Congress face great responsibility, great accountability. The need of the moment is that our actions and our policy should be devoted primarily, almost exclusively, to meeting this foreign peril. For all our domestic problems are now a part of the great emergency, just as our national policy in and for fun sufficient to manufacture additional munitions and war supplies of many kinds to be turned over to those nations which are now in actual war with aggressor nations. Taking counsel of expert military and naval authorities, considering what is best for our own security, we are free to decide how much should be kept here and how much should be sent abroad to our friends who by their determined and heroic resistance are giving us time in which to make ready our own defense. <laughs> and which we need. In fulfillment of this purpose, we will not be intimidated by the threats of dictators that they will regard as a breach of international law or as an act of war our aid to the democracies which dare to resist their aggression. Such aid, <laughs> such aid is not an act of war, even if a dictator should unilaterally proclaim it so to be. <laughs> and when the dictators, if the dictators, are ready to make war upon us, they will not wait for an act of war on our part, they did not wait for Norway or Belgium or the Netherlands to commit an act of war. The happiness of future generations of Americans may well depend on how effective and how immediate we can make our aid felt. No one can tell the exact character of the emergency situations that we may be called upon to meet. The nation's hands must not be tied when the nation's life is in danger. <laughs> yes, and we must prepare, all of us prepare, to make the sacrifices that the emergency almost as serious as war itself demands. Whatever stands in the way of speed and efficiency in defense, in defense preparations of any kind, must give way 
to the national need. A free nation has the right to expect for their own group. The best way of dealing with the few slackers or troublemakers in our midst is first to shame them by patriotic example. And if that fails, to use the sovereignty of government to save government. about the foundations of a healthy and strong democracy, the basic the enjoyment of the fruits of scientific many subjects connected with our social economy call for immediate improvement, call for personal sacrifice. And I am assured of the willingness of almost all Americans to respond to that cause. A part of the sacrifice means the payment of more money in taxes. In my budget message, I will recommend that a greater portion of this great defense program be paid for from taxation than we are paying for today. No person should cry or be allowed to get rich out of the program. <laughs> and the principle of tax payment in accordance with ability to pay should be constantly before our eyes to guide our legislation if the Congress maintains these principles, the voters putting patriotism ahead of pocketbooks will give you their applause. In the order which we seek, is the cooperation of free countries working together in a friendly, civilized society. This nation has placed its destiny in the hands and heads and hearts of its millions of free men and women, and its faith in freedom under the guidance of God. Freedom means the supremacy of human rights everywhere. Our support goes to those who struggle to gain those rights and keep them. Our strength is our unity of purpose to that high concept there can be no end save victory.